welcome back we are continuing right where we left off in last week's video these are the exact moments after the last clip we had just got home from the hospital so this video is going to be our first week at home not necessarily baby's first week of life because we did spend like half a week in the hospital if you are new here i did have a c-section so i was very much in recovery during this whole time and I was definitely getting settled in when it comes to taking care of the baby because I was not really able to do anything besides feed him in the hospital. Faku has been doing amazing, but I was also excited to be able to stand up to take care of this baby. So with all of the excitement, I kind of still had adrenaline at this point. Like, you know, you're up late, you're not getting as much sleep. The baby does not have a set sleeping schedule yet because they are brand new to this world, not adjusted to anything yet, of course, and you haven't implemented that sleeping schedule. So there's a lot to adjust to. But energy wise, I did feel fine this week. Obviously, I was tired, but it wasn't like peak exhaustion. And I'm pretty sure that has to do with the fact that I was just finally excited to be able to take care of my baby. So here I am doing a 4.30 feed. These first few days, obviously, we are trying to figure out our routine. The only thing set in stone right now is just that baby is feeding every two to three hours. I am exclusively breastfeeding. Baby was able to latch on in the hospital with the help of some lactation consultants. They taught me so much. They gave me so many pointers. So I'm really grateful that he was able to latch on. My milk was also really coming in these days. So I just had a stash that I had pumped to relieve myself. I'll definitely continue some pumping because I do like having that stash so that I don't always have to be the one to feed him. If I need help, somebody else can feed him and I can get some extra rest. There is so much that happens in the first week or week and a half after giving a baby, giving birth to a baby. My mom brain is kicking in already. <laughs> Here I am getting ready for my one week postpartum checkup. Never having had a baby before, these outings are so intimidating and they make me so nervous. Here I had to feed the baby on the way back to the car because he was really fussy and he was hungry and he couldn't wait until we got to the car to feed. So I didn't want to have him crying the entire time to the car. So I just pulled out the bottle. I'm like, all right, we're walking and feeding. We got this. Hello, I am one week postpartum today and it has been a journey, an experience. It has been hard, fun, funny, filled with love, all of the above. Oh my gosh, I rhymed. <laughs> Going over things, I did have a C-section as you probably saw in my last vlog, if you saw it, my birth vlog. That whole thing, like the recovery part of it was so humbling for me like i'm not like trying to scare anybody that is gonna have a c-section just letting you know what to keep in mind the recovery is hard especially the first few days it's like you can barely move around essentially but in my experience i don't know if this happens for everybody's c-section i am one week postpartum exactly and i am walking i am doing things i'm able to carry the baby i'm able to change the baby's diaper swaddle him everything i am not lifting anything heavy at the moment i am still kind of slow when i walk but i'm able to walk like i am i'm fully functioning just at a slower slightly weaker rate um but for only one week postpartum i feel like i've made great progress and i feel like um it's a lot quicker than i expected so really happy about that and i'm feeling very good about that like my one day postpartum self needed to hear what i'm saying right now like i I am doing so much better and I've made so much progress in just a week so that feels really good. Um, I am extremely tired today because I did not sleep last night like my longest sleep stretch was probably like 30 minutes at a time. Baby um he was up <laughs> he was like chilling. I'm really grateful because he hasn't been fussy he hasn't been like crying he hasn't been complaining about anything his thing is just if not all newborns he doesn't sleep through the night you know and it's not just like wake me up i'm hungry i kept trying to put him down but he would just like not want to sleep 
and there would be times that I would like feed him and I'd be done feeding him and expecting him to go to sleep and then he's just uh, like just looking at me like all right like what are we doing next like what's going on and I'd be like all right little dude this is not the time for this like we got to get that schedule switched around and I know it's just a week after so like it's going to be a process I know this whole changing their schedule takes about four to six weeks so it's just something that I have realized that if I need my sanity if I need my brain power and function I am going to need to get him used to sleeping at night versus during the day because I'm just assuming that's what his schedule was when he was in my belly mentally I'm doing pretty good and i have like not been taking anything for granted i am so grateful at all of the positives i've been feeling after giving birth because i know it's not like that for everyone and that is something that i was actually afraid of um but i have been doing so good my hardest part in recovery has just been the physical part to me that's a win because um my mental health is like so important to me and I do not want that to get affected in any way um, because I feel like I have been at a really good place for a long time now and yeah so grateful to God for everything I'm just tired as one is after giving birth and after having a newborn for a week the things I've had to adjust to the harder things have actually been very normal things um, so again grateful for that Okay, so full transparency, I wanted to talk about how I'm feeling body-wise. And honestly, it's pretty good. Um, for one week postpartum, I did not expect myself to look like this. Um, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I am breastfeeding and I'm starting to pump as well. It like contracts your uterus back down to size. But also like even when my stomach was, you know, still more inflamed, I felt like it was so cute like it's literally like the mom's stomach <laughs> and the little line it's a rite of passage for me to look this way and it's so special that the reason I look this way is because of this beautiful magical angel baby that I gave birth to it's special it comes with the territory I love it I think it's so cute I cannot believe that I'm not pregnant anymore that part is still like I'm I feel like I'm still pregnant even though I'm not. <laughs> I love it. It's squishy. It's actually really fun to play with because it's pretty squishy. Especially up here. This is really squishy. <laughs> but yeah, this is not for anybody to compare themselves. This is for me to remember and document my journey. This is literally me sharing my experience. Can't believe I'm not pregnant anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> So I did want to mention that Honey is definitely adjusting as well. She finds this whole situation very weird and she doesn't like getting too close to him right now. She's getting slightly more comfortable as each day goes by, but she still keeps her distance. I also just want to note that as the video goes on, as the days pass, I am becoming more and more tired. The adrenaline was leaving my body and that sleep deprivation was really getting to me. But it's so crazy because it's like every single time I pick him up and I see his little face, I just get filled with so much love and happiness. And I'm so happy to be the one to be able to do this for him. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not super tired. Also clearly have dirty hair, I'm not showering as much. My life fully revolves around him right now. I am just surviving to be able to fuel his life. These days are obviously essential for him to grow optimally, so I am just showing up for him. So this is really exciting we were able to give baby his first sponge bath at home and this was really fun to me because it felt like i was baptizing him unfortunately it was not fun for him he really did not enjoy this time and we tried to make it go by really fast obviously we used warm water we used a little rag to cover his body he just did not enjoy it <laughs> so i just warmed him up as quickly as i could afterwards and he was able to take a nice rest after that. Oh, I just pumped. 
why did this amount come out this is crazy i literally just pumped this is this is almost five ounces from one side okay this i think i fed him on this side last time but still this is so much this is a good four ounces i have like three feedings here <laughs> Wow, bro. That was 30 minutes of pumping on level 5. That's so crazy. No, no, I think of breastfeeding is completely natural and normal. Pumping is not natural and normal because we didn't have pumps back then. I think about if I were in those times, how would I freaking survive? Like, if I'm pumping out this much milk, like, and it's not even time for baby to feed yet, like, how? I'll get fevers all the time.